As you look around, you see seven distinct paths. Each Grail. one seems to lead Grail. to a smaller area. Go ahead. Just tell me what you see. Your your theory. Theory. All right. I'll Which surprise you with the next path. path. East. But before, but path. East. But before we stand on the path, Grail, a good observation of the trail. Learn about ice and decide to follow the path. In a way, our journey is a trail. Grail looks at the paper on the grass. It's a new understanding of the path. Grail looks at 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 the path. In planar graphs, sure. you'll find that Here the layouts are visual examples to help you understand the summary of the perfect theorem. Can be drawn on plane another important imagine imagine the magic castle, castle with many planar graphs, graphs are in a graph beautiful because they are in a wide range, range of little lines. The total number, number of doors in the castle is so deep, the vortex of the edge of the castle smiles so far each of your requests. I think there's a to show you an example that resembles the Euler circuit. The total number of doors in the castle is interesting request. Grail, sure, let's take a quick journey that has properties similar to an Euler circuit. Understand Grail not to lead you along. A winding path in so the woods. Began to analyze As you walk, Grail, he demonstrates the exact qualities of an Euler circuit. The vertex can have a number of edges Just like an Euler circuit, Grail, we're, we're visiting every vertex or spot in the vertex around the edges, while also making sure to follow a continuous path that doesn't intersect itself and has a little end up in the back where we started. Counting the edges and analyzing every spot is a proper vertex. Next, Grail, the degree of a vertex sequence for both graphs, ensuring that each vertex in one graph has all the same number of edges, is like corresponding vertex in the other graph. Grail, the Grail smile. Understanding your first class, moving on to the nods and begins to lay out some physical objects on the ground to represent the Euler circuit. Grail, Grail, Grail. Let me use some objects to help demonstrate an Euler circuit or edge in a more tangible way. Each object will represent a vertex between a few trees. Grail, Grail. Between these objects will show the edges between the vertices. Grail, in this forest, first like a number of edges, places several rocks on the ground, each representing the grass connected to the other. Then he starts connecting them with twigs to represent the edges. So more graph. Or how he many edges are in check? One more thing to end quote. Grail, Grail, smiles, Grail. Then check realizing to see if the two graphs are planar. Grail, meaning that they can be drawn on a plane between without two any vertices edges on the graph. If it both graphs are relationship be drawn or linked between edge the vertices. Then they were both planar terms, graphs. Grail nods all the more, understanding that you're asking for two graphs. And if he starts placing objects again, the but this time he connects them with arrows. Grail thinks on signifying the order of vertices in the Euler circuit. Grail, right, got it. Yes, here's an example of an Euler circuit represented in the format we mentioned. Complete graph by D. Yes, you're representing a path where vertex A is visited first, then no, then vertex B, then C, and finally vertex D. Before returning to vertex A and completing the circuit, just like this board. As a pattern to how the trees connect are connected between these points. Complete graphs Unquote. have a specific number of edges depending on the number of vertices. Grail, in a way, yes. Edges in a graph can be considered Grail. properties sure. of the vertices. Let's create connect. a story to illustrate. For example, if we have a graph representing a social network. The vertices Let's say we have a city, vertex in the and center, the edges with several suburbs, vertices, surrounding case, it, like a ring. Considered as the city and the suburbs are connected by roads, two edges, vertices, allowing together. people to travel between End them. Quote. He starts drawing in the ground again, illustrating the city and its suburbs. Grail. Imagine you're a delivery person from the city, and you want to visit every suburb in the ring and return to the city. You'd start at the city, then travel to each suburb, carefully navigating the roads without... Grail, 
accidentally repeating any trips. As you process after the visiting each suburb, Grail smiles you then return to the city, to follow completing him. the circuit. Leads you back this journey forest. would be similar to an Euler circuit, of a few minutes, where you start you and end at the same spot, back in the visit every vertex suburb seven once, and only you. take each road Grail. edge once. We're back here at the main intersection. You've learned about the important concept of the sum of degrees theorem. Grail, great, glad you're getting the hang of it. Sure, let's move on to the next learning objective. There are still several paths left for you to explore. Which one would you like to take next?